It's one of the most fascinating national parks in Southeast Asia. A unique patchwork quilt of rainforest, open heathland, mangroves, beaches and rocky headlands. Over the years, a sandstone peninsula has been eroded by the forces of nature and transformed into a beautiful coastline covered in small bays, steep cliffs and sandy beaches. A wide range of plant species have colonised the rugged landscape, adapting to the different conditions and challenges of the terrain. Seven distinct ecosystems have evolved and these provide a rich habitat for a remarkable variety of wildlife. Baco National Park is an area of exceptional natural beauty, a nature lover's paradise. And with its network of well-maintained forest trails, it is an excellent place to discover Sarawak's forests and wildlife. Baco became a national park in 1957 and is Sarawak's oldest national park. It's also one of the smallest. The park covers a mere 27 square kilometres at the tip of the Muara Tabas Peninsula. There can be few places in Southeast Asia that pack so much natural beauty into such a small area. So small that almost every part of the park can be reached on foot. Bako is highly accessible. The park is less than 40 kilometres from Kuching, the state capital of Sarawak. There are many different ways to enjoy Bako. For example, Kuching-based tour operators offer a range of day trips and overnight tours. Or you can do it yourself, making your own way to Kampong Bako, the jumping off point for the park. The 20 minute boat journey to the park is an experience in itself. After passing the wooden stilt houses of the riverside village, the boat hugs the coastline, passing mangrove forests and local fishermen before moving out into the open sea, where the magnificent outline of the Bako Peninsula reveals itself. If the water level is high, your boatman will head for a narrow channel in the mangroves that leads to a small jetty. From there, it's a short walk to park headquarters. From the moment you arrive, it's clear that Bako is a protected area. The chalets and rest houses are surrounded by dense jungle and wildlife is everywhere. 